Analysts have poured cold water on Perikatan National Chairman Mohidin Yassin's aspirations for the coalition to score a near-majority win in Penang for the upcoming state election. University Science Malaysia's Ahmad Fauzi Abdul Hamid says it's unrealistic for PN to win that many seats in Penang, which has been governed by DAP for three terms now. Even if we take all four parliamentary constituencies, where Malays are in a majority or form a significant percentage of the population, you'll get only 12 seats there. If PN is really targeting 20 or 21 seats, it must rely on Gerakan defeating PHBN opponents in other Chinese majority or mixed constituencies. And that can only happen if PHBN puts up an MCA candidate. Similarly, analyst Azmir Tayyip believes PN could win 10 Malay majority seats at most, describing the other mixed or non-Malay majority seats as not competitive for PN. PN can boost its chance by appealing to non-Malays, but the possibility of them supporting PN is slim to none. PN also has not offered any substantive alternative policies to the current government and is only seen as playing with sentiments which does not bode well for non-Malays and Malays who are less hung up on identity politics. Natasha Bust, FMT News.